Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales, a medieval game uh, which plays a little bit like XCOM where we're trying to make a living uh, by creating a, a group of mercenaries. Today what we're going to do is we are uh, going to hunt a little bit more. We have quite a few options here. So we want to clear the south uh, and uh, get the rewards here. But there is also a sinister cave and I think we're going to do that today because that will lead to potentially more ore. I've already learned that. Uh, you will find ore in caves. No surprise there, Sherlock. And uh, with that ore, we're getting a better spear plus a, a little bit better armor as well. So join me when we're going there. But first things first, we need to give uh, Rother here a name and uh, that will be... That will be Jim Eulett, one of our uh, viewers that is commenting very regularly. So, Jim, as a frontline fighter that is uh, based his uh, damage on strength, how about we're giving him a little bit more strength then? He could be the new woodcutter. Well, JP Pauly is the Tinkerer. Okay, very good. Namri is still the cook and blacksmith and everything in one person. Well, maybe we're just leaving her with blacksmith for now. Very good. Off we go into the world. So we want to go into this direction and that would mean this direction actually. Okay, here we go. Um, one thing that I learned is never let resources lie around even if you can't immediately use them. Those flowers can be put into uh, medicines if we finally find those uh, those snow flowers. Good, and we're running into a lot of merchants who apparently are making a good living because they are just running around here. I have met that particular bunch of mercenary uh, of merchants a lot of times uh, that would be 70 for 10 iron ore i think we can afford that very good and what are we going to give you in return a little bit of wood Okay, well, that's pretty much it. She's not willing to buy anything else, but iron ore is helpful. And I think we're already at the cave, right? Yep, we are. That's the sinister cave. Some extra flowers down here. And the idea is very much uh, to clear out that cave. Or to find out that you do not even need to clear uh, clear it. Anyways, uh, Dilly G starts to lockpick. Easy peasy, 15 experience, sapphire, well that is great, ruby, that's good as well, and 10 iron ore, well that is fantastic, we finally got our rewards. Let me just check something, uh, this year has, no, that's just a luxury item, cannot be equipped, hmm, too bad. Alright, what else can we do? We can talk. I hate having to strong arm the farmers, but we have no other choice. The citizen. Ah, mercenaries. 
Did Fergus send you to help? Rowan hired you to kill me. I beg of you, don't do this. We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know. We, we have no choice. Rowan is the one who must die. I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more. And you would be doing a good... Once he is gone, the farmers of Chiltern will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain. It's the only solution. Hmm. You make a convincing point there. But the question that I'm asking myself is, who's... Uh, who's... Um, who's the good and who's the evil guy here? Captain Rowland. I don't understand... Uh, huh, that's a difficult choice. But we are outlaws, so we're helping the underdog. To think that four years ago... But... Good, before we're leaving, is there anything else we can pick up? No, no... No hidden treasure. I like that little mini game that every single map is interactive. Still locked, cannot use the key. Nothing is beneath it. Bertram still Bertram hired you to kill us? No, wait, you don't understand. Uh, this man is not some poor refugee. He's been terrorizing the local farmers and stealing their crops. He must die. I will pay you to kill him. Both of them sound like assholes, to be precise. But you, sir... Seem to make a lot, uh, a lot of sense. Why would he terrorize the farmers? But on the other hand, he has uh, said that he does not enjoy terrorizing the farmers. I was trying. I was trying to uh, kind of get a little bit more um, out of them to drive the price up, but that apparently didn't work. So. Let's fight these guys and hope that uh, Bertram actually was correct. So we do have movement increased by 60%. Wow, that's bad. This guy goes first. <clears throat> Enders over here, Namri. Dilly here, Jim here, and Pauly kind of here. Clear front line, although, I mean, look. You can also charge in from the back, right? <clears throat> Good. Whom are we uh, targeting first? I think Ender is here. Could make a good point, uh, point, but I think Dilly. If we push the foot soldier up, they are actually sending together. Good. Dilly is the first one to move. Then, here we go. Shoots the soldier up. Slows him down. It's the guard captain for a whooping 17 points of damage and then moves out of range. All right, we're moving up and we're engaging with the captain here.
JP Pauly unlocked the trade Glorious. What does that mean? Glorious. Chance to generate one Valor point at the end of their turn. I love it. So you're getting additional traits just based on how long you're fighting. That's not bad. That's a cool system. Good. Namri moves up. Now we don't want to use our other Valor points. Not yet. Much more damage. I absolutely love it. Uh, the enemy wants to flee. I think we're okay allowing that. Oh, we got a fantastic bow out of it. Some more sandstone. And just minor repairs. Diddy G got a new toy, my friends. Look at that. Volley of Arrows. Triggered if this ability lands a critical hit. Uh, cannot be used if engaged in combat. And a critical hit would let him attack a second time. Ooh. We gotta get his crit chance up. That is phenomenal. Take that. Roman is dead, and we are free. We really owe you one. Here, take this. You deserve it. Good. You've gained influence. You've gained crowns, which is great as well. I hope we've done the right, uh, the right decision. And we got blinding powder. A little pouch of fine powder uh, gives uh, the blind skill. And summoned Eldoran wine, which raises morale. I like that one. Cool. So we're driving the storyline a bit further. Let me just double check something real quick. Um, I think that's for Ender Senders. What does the blind skill allow? Uh, can only be used if the Unis is engaged in combat. Uh, and it allows you to disengage. Hmm. But this here allows me to hit a second time. And I could also just use run to disengage. So as interesting as this um, extra powder is, Unless we can put it somewhere down here. That's not going to fly. Okay, this here seems a bit too tough for us yet. Um, instead, we're making our way all the way down here to continue our journey and uh, get a new, uh, get, get a couple more bounties going. I hope we're being attacked by a few wolves because that would give us uh, the remaining wolf meat that we need. See, right there. Tricked the game into giving us what we want. Okay, so Dilly G. Starts to hit the wolf, unfortunately not a critical hit. And we are ending our turn behind the stone. Good. Jim moves up.
gets that wolf and moves a little bit back. Namri hits up, uh, moves up. What does Galvanize do exactly? Damage increased by 50%. That's plenty good. Good, and we're already done. Small repair. We got uh, all we need to save uh, our potential friend there. How dangerous is it here? 10%, that's okay. We're paying the rest of the wages. Okay, wait a second. So we got Jim here. Insufficient food, yeah, we're going to fix that, don't worry. Um, I tell you what, we need more of these sweet, sweet Valor points. I like them. Uh, that hitching post will require rope. Uh, that's not a problem. There you go. Let's continue and then create uh, that. And the pony is uh, getting more carrying capacity. Cool. We also got a knowledge point. I think we wanted to get these weapons. Fantastic. So far we're doing well. What else can we do? Could go with a strategy table. Question that I'm asking myself is, is it worth it? High ranking companions assigned. We're giving up a bit of our iron ore and a bit of our cloth. But we would get experience in tinkering. And potentially we're generating more Valor points, which isn't bad either. So for now, I'm just testing, we're trying out the game, right? So might as well. Oh, damage of attacks of opportunity are increased by 10%. Increases the bonus of support. Increases the debuff applied for surrounding. Damage increased by 20% for flanking. Well, we have no high ranking soldiers yet, but that definitely was a good investment. I don't want to invest that much ore. Good, Namri needs to yet again reskill and to cook. Can't cook anything at the moment, uh, so we're going back to blacksmith, which gives her a higher strength. And I really enjoyed uh, her doing more damage. So let's use one of these here, which will increase our morale. That and that and that and a bit of this and a bread. Danger levels are average and I think we're good. Well, whenever you think that you're good, you're not. You're being ambushed. Surprise means we are taking 10% more damage.
Namri to the front. Polly right after. Okay. Um, hmm. So let's get some temporary points going. Plus two, very good. Take that. And whilst we're at it, take that. And then, just like a true coward, we're moving out. And ending the turn. Very good. So. Deli G moves up. Hits the boar and hits it very well. Kills it, we get our uh, Fury Point back. And we're moving a slight bit back. Everybody takes less damage, and let's attack. Moving up. Should have potentially not spend that one uh, mm, that one Valor point, but it's okay. Four are still plenty. Loot, loot, yeah, plenty of loot as well. Jim Ulert uh, will feel like uh, one of us. I maybe should go and talk to him to make sure he feels welcome. Relationship? Happiness? Yeah, take time to sp uh, to speak with Jim Eulard. There you go, JP Pauly and Jim Eulard are becoming besties. Cool. We have a couple of extra points that we're getting here. I haven't fully figured out what that, what all of this here means so far. Next level unlocked. Mysteries and wisdom. Okay, cool. What can we learn? Companions are less prone to be injured in battle. I like that. Uh, animals have reduced aggression range and give up chase faster. Your companions learn to be contest with le uh, content with le less food. That's good. Cost of items is reduced by 10%. Purging the red nest also grants 50 influence. Mm. Mm. I like that one. Okay, so your troop is getting some extra like bonuses here. on top of the other bonuses. Okay, so apparently like those, all of those passive, um, passive bonuses will stack up over time. So it's just a matter of, yeah, doing all of the stuff, do, uh, crafting, exploring, venturing, doing quests. Next time we will have to pay 94 gold and that's fine. Okay, so, difficulty easy. We need to get up on that mountain ridge.
That's where our next quest is set out to be. I wish you could move just a little bit faster. That's the one complaint that I have so far. The rest of the game is just a breeze. But we're exploring a bit more. Free money. Not bad. I wonder, have they hidden something here? Mortal Bloom and Grease. Okay. Well, clearly this guy is completely... He killed everyone. A real madman. I'm injured. Help me. Uh, I hate giving up our medicines, but we are a good party. Oh, thank you. I still can't believe that Ricky used us as bait. He was... If he hadn't killed that little girl to steal her necklace, her father wouldn't have fought back, and my friends would stick me with you. I have a score to settle with that traitor. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hackard. Well, you won. Oh boy, you won twenty-one. Uh, you won twenty-one uh, wage. I don't know if I could sustain a group of six. I mean, rangers are fantastic, and Sanders is a great example of that. But I wanted to get like different. Uh, different uh, types of characters, so not a second ranger. Although you make a convincing case with more critical hit here. What does career plans mean? You can spend influence. Oh, I see. Well, I can. T Let me tell you what, Hacker. As much as I like you, I think we need to disband uh, you from the group. I was just trying to help you, really. You do have good traits, and I appreciate you being all motivated to kill and stuff, but that can't go on. Work manual, okay, cool. We could have easily finished him. Now, Hackert, what are we doing with you? How do you get rid of someone? That's a good question. So first and foremost, we got that one extra knowledge point. And I wonder if we maybe should uh, get feet makers just for that extra valor point. Not a bad idea, right? Okay, my problem is we are too big of a group. Hmm. I like having an extra uh, ranger in the group, 
Uh, they seemed very, very capable so far of dealing damage. But equally, our group is too big. Like, he takes a lot of payment. For now, it hasn't changed, though, so maybe I am just wrong. And why exactly does every single enemy now have even more in their group? So with you increasing your group, all of a sudden you're fighting groups of four, five, and six as well. Good. Let's position ourselves properly, shall we? Dilly is uh, here. Namri sits over here. Okay, cool. Well, Jim could help from here. So who's acting first? That guy, then that guy. Let's start with Dilly, shall we? Moves up. Shoots to Hardlum. Then hits him again. And... Moves just so far away that we can still hit all three of them next turn. End of turn. Namri will take a shot. Okay, not the end of the world. Polly moves up. Nice, very nice critical hit. How can you engage in melee combat here? Unfortunately, he can't yet. He's being shot uh, to the side. Get some free, uh, get some free points. Moves up. Let's hit them. Oh boy, I... Why would you hit your own uh, partner? Anders. That's where his... Uh, where his underground lifestyle uh, kicks in. Just can't uh, discern between friend or foe. All right, Hackard has killed his first enemy. In the meantime, enemies are moving up. Namri moves up to here. Protection for two rounds. Yes, please. And I think we're even get, uh, getting a deflection, because why not? And let's start to hit this guy. All right, we're engaged in combat. Move up. Can't hit him, but we're getting an extra Valor for spending uh, time next to a friend. Anders moves around these poison clouds. Not sure if I like them a lot.
And we've lost our torch, apparently. Some free poison damage. And end of turn. Yep, we're being pushed back. Fair enough. Um, Namri engages. By the way, the archer damage will be much less. Billy G moves up. Fires at that guy. Kills him. Increases his precision. And fires at uh, the next one. Such a nice amount of damage. Move up. And that's a fantastic hit. Move up. Move up. Hit. Oh no, that, no, no, that was the wrong uh, button. Don't want to spend another Valor point, although we could finish him. Good, we're just moving to here. We're fine for now. A new round is starting, which means Dilly G is on the hunt again. Kills the poucher. No, we're not done. Now we're done. Fantastic. We got outdoor tabard, uh, cloth. Wheat. Uh, not sure what that amazing hairbrush is going to do. But we do have critical hit plus one and movement plus two, which is a really good armor. It is the same that Enders is currently wearing. <clears throat> So Dilly G is picking that up and Hacker sort of weaseled his way into the group for now. I'm going to figure out uh, whether or not he stays. If he stays, he gets a proper name. For now, he's just Hacker, the guy who weaseled his way in. Uh, amazing hairbrush, does that do anything? Apparently not. Okay. Well, how do we get up there? For starters, something is lurking down here. A giant of sorts. We'll take this guy the next time we're here. Um, I think I need more Valor points. What else can we build? Well, we can craft a torch. I can tell you that is a given. Whilst we're crafting a torch, let's just craft another one. Because we do have two um, melee rogues at this point. 
And the one thing that I learned about torches is they are pretty damn good. Alright, we're running out of food. Nope. Pay the wages, yes, and more experience, okay, cool, and we're resting. So, lots of things happened. Uh, we got troop happiness increased substantially from food and everything. We got our experience bonus finally kicking in. We got enough valor points. So things are looking, looking up. Let's do this fight as the final battle for today, for this episode. Are we really ready for that? <sighs> no. I don't want to be a chicken, but the rats have kicked our ass and it took me a while to even recover. For now, we're just doing quests. This guy looks like a giant and I don't, I don't need to be a genius to figure out the giants hit hard. All right, the enemies so I think this is one of our tasks. The enemies are starting to continue to outnumber us, which I don't like. JP Pauly to here. Namri is taking that side. And Anders is over here. Is that a good one? I think Hacker, who of the enemies is going first? That and then the Hoodlum here. Not good. If we put him here, could kind of run around. And this Hoodlum is charging up. Hmm. Not the best, but also not the worst. So what do these guys pack? They they are just normal level 3 characters. This Marauder here seems a bit uh, better equipped with layered armor. But we should be fine. I mean a lot of poachers here, right? Um Could poison all of them, hit the Marauder and go back. Not the worst idea, I'm just thinking out loud. The other option is Nemri engages. Yet another one is Dilly begins to shoot and hit the whole room here just slowing him down right and if hacker starts here he can kind of move up if dilly is the first one to act i could put him here not a bad idea i think we're going to do with that oh, or 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 Actually, the complete other way around. Dilly shoots the guy to here. And moves over here. Yeah, he, we can do that. I think that's the most sensible idea. Alright. Let's start. Hodlum. 
is being shot at. Nice little follow up uh, hit. And <clears throat> Dilly is on that side. Fantastic. End of turn. These guys here are wasting their turns. Next up, Bowman there, someone else, Bowman there. So the, the Bowmans are, uh, Bowman are the next ones. So curious. We could hit them but not kill them. Um, yeah, they do have enough range to hit. Could kill the uh, the Hotlum and go back, throw something on top of it. I think we're going to do exactly that. points of damage that's good that's a kill moves up here nicely hits all three of them with poison moves a little bit back and because I I'm a coward and don't want to get engaged in combat we're moving back even further that positive these guys are now taking a lot of poison damage. Uh, we're giving ourselves deflection. We move up. And start hacking onto that Marauder. End of turn. This will be the funnel where we're getting them through. give him that dual attack to move up and start flanking next turn or deflecting the first blow and ending the turn to here and ends the turn yeah we still have this marauder going and as nice as it looks to go in here that's not the way to do it Although, could we? Oh yeah, we can. Very good. Moves away. That uh, should be out of range. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Hit your body. New round is starting. I know exactly what we're going to do.
we make sure that these guys here are not going to reach us. So slow down. Very good. Hitting the front line and moving back. Fantastic. Good first engagement. Unfortunately, we're now engaged with JP Pauly here. Which means we need a bit more encouragement. And let's start to hack through. Do I want deflection? I think we're fine with Nemery. All right, moving up. That's a hit, and that's the finisher. That's the poison you have been waiting for. And that's freeing up uh, the room for further movements. 13 points of damage, fantastic. Moves up, almost slices him, then kills him, and then slightly moves up. Very good. Good, we're moving up and oh wow, this poacher will die. And now he's even engaged in melee combat. Fantastic, that's good, love it. Moves up. It's this guy. Jim could finish. But Jim could also just move to here. End the turn. New round is starting. Well, I tell you what. Uh, who is going first? That hodlum. Hmm. hmm. Good hit. And Dilly kills. We are hiding behind the stone. Next up, that poacher. Okay, cool. Well, we can uh, we can work with that. For starters, that guy needs to die. Fury, damage increased fifty percent on the next attack. Uh, can we? Could we move in? Is the question. Or should we stay back? We're poisoned. 
could play it safe or we could rush in and just like strike through all of them she's next and then this guy I think we can kill them before anything happens. Alright, JP moves out of the way. Very, very nice hit. Barely can't move through here. Hmm. I would like uh, to do the following. Everybody actually takes 30% less damage. That's worth a valor point. Moves up and engages. That's fine. Good, that frees up a lot. Nice little poison. There is the kill. There's the free additional poison. And there is the move, uh, the fade away. Good. Move up. And we're ending the turn. Fantastic. Well, tell you what. Moves in. Kills this guy. And we have uh, them demoralized enough to let them flee a little bit of repair is all we need cool we got a tabard superior one and murphy just uh, leveled up so carrying capacity increased by 10 or can i wear armor well don't taunt me too much with the wearing armor Constitution also increases carrying capacity, right? Right. So, there we go. It's a mule, not a fighting horse. We might get fighting horses later, but for now, it's a mule. Tabard uh, is light armor. And I think Ender Senders could use that. Superior Tabard. We still are wearing Rex, so that's not acceptable. That extra movement will come in handy for Pauly. He's not a uh, light armor type of guy. But for now we got to work with whatever we do have and what we do have is not a lot we got farmers racks and anglers racks stuff that's not really good good let's double check so that was just a group of random enemies that attacked us wasn't even the final fight I tell you what, we're stopping here uh, because it's already an hour in and I want to make sure that we keep uh, those episodes to a moderate length. Uh, we have reached the Haven and that's a good cliffhanger for the next episode. 
Will we stick with Hackard? Will the group around Murphy, uh, the uh, unbelievably cute pony, will the group around Murphy uh, survive in the bitter uh, cold? Will we finally get armor and uh, find riches? Well, find out in the next episode, if you dare. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button as if you had a hammer and it would be an anvil. Thanks and see you soon. Bye-bye.